Alrighty, so today we're going to take a look at an old timer. This one is one of the newer USA made generational series. This one in particular is the 5 OTG, so OTG standing for old timer generational. Um, old timer just put out four knives in this series. Um, all of them are USA made. I think they're made by Baron Sun. If not, please correct me, but I think everything about this knife screams Baron Sun to me. So basically you have a 1095 carbon steel blade, which is nice and like a nice upgrade from obviously their Chinese made, I think 7CR V steel. And then you have these nice brown saw cut bone covers. The saw cut job is a little more rugged, a little more rigid than I think cases and other brands is saw cut. Um, I think some people might find that as a turnoff, but I like it, it's different. And then I really like the color, very consistent, very nice brown. Um, one thing I did notice is the action is pretty, pretty smooth right out of the box. I didn't even clean it. So sometimes it has that gunk, but this one was pretty clean. And then you have a nice four finger grip. You know the size, it's a standard OT Bruin. So my only concern about this knife is the shield. Um, I've seen some reviews where some shields have popped out because it is just glued poorly. Hopefully it does not happen to mine, but you can see that it, it kind of protrudes from the handles. So here's just some bonus footage of me cutting an apple in the backyard. I know this doesn't really mean much and it doesn't attribute to how useful or how good the knife is, but I think it's fun and I like, I like apples. So here's some footage of me slicing apples and eating them. And the carbon steel did not patina as fast as some other steels. So I'm not sure if I still have some grease stuck on the blade or if it's just different than others. But overall, a very nice and comfortable knife. It was fun using it. So next, I'm going to do some quick size comparisons. Here is a Buck 55, pretty much a mini Buck 110, a little smaller. And then here is a single bladed case Barlow standard barlow size and then i'm i'm gonna bring out my baron sun pretty much sod buster but it has a pocket clip aluminum aluminum handles also 1095 carbon steel very similar size to the baron suns and then here is my donut swiss army tinker love this knife kind of silly but kind of the same size and this knife it is pretty small on the smaller side with the only 2.8 inch blade. So while on topic of size, here's the box and they gives you all the specifications about the knife, obviously 1095 carbon steel made in the United States. And it has a 2.8 inch Skinner blade. That's what they call it. And it weighs 2.39 ounces, 6.5 inches overall. And then this knife goes for around 50 to $60. I got it for 55 on Amazon. Um, I kind of compare this knife to a case Sodbuster, same size, same style knife, but the case in my experience, it does have better fit and finish um, than this knife that I've gotten. Uh, this knife did have some gapping, which I don't really mind. It's just, it's kind of obvious that cases Sodbusters that go for the same price as this are a little better. But I do like the direction that Old Timer is going in bringing some of their patterns back to the United States. So I'm going to show you the other three knives in the Generational series. You have the famous 152 Sharp Finger. And then a small Trapper size. Not really my favorite pattern, but I know some people love it. And then you have the famous 34 middleman stockman which is like a medium stockman size but very good i have some of the original usa made 34 ot's and that's gonna be it thank you for watching like and subscribe if you like watching videos about traditional knives i'll see you guys next time